actually too bad yet. And of course, the rain just beats the roads up. Uh, I'm up, generally up at 2, 2.30. I try and get at least six hours of sleep. It's, it's a definite concern when you only get six, seven hours of sleep at night. Yeah. But you're not, you're not fit. It, it, it comes down to, like I said, it comes down to understanding. And if you got to pull over and take a 20 minute nap, we all do it. And then you got your good old coffee. It's your life, bud. Probably the most dangerous part uh, would be losing focus, becoming complacent with what you're doing. You know, not paying attention to the road or what could be coming or the radio and you encounter something. The road you're not expecting, whether it be another truck, there's just so much that can go wrong so quickly. I don't think any one thing is particularly dangerous. It'd be more of a sequence of events that would become and create a dangerous situation. Losing complacency, forgetting a call, coming into a hill you're not expecting. Her. That's probably the most dangerous part out here. And with the long days, it's just simply becoming complacent. That's the sign with all the, the timber mark and a couple block information. And every load has, has to have one of these slips with it. Just relax for a few minutes. They're kind of piled into that rubber. I should probably wash that window back here so I can see. Carrying our trailer. Okay. So that's what you see the pull up over the stack. That's gotcha. our trailer. Uh -huh. So he'll pick that off of us when we back in. Yeah. We'll pull ahead, he'll drop it, we'll hook it all up. Okay. We'll flip our stakes up. Yeah. And at that point, we'll get back in, we'll pull our compensator a little bit, and he'll start putting the logs on us. from my office window is amazing. My office view changes every second. I've got some of the most beautiful sights, animals, we've got bears, elk, cougars, you see it all out here. It's just beautiful. You want a truck that's strong enough to withstand the road and get you through the day, number one, and not fall apart. Having a reliable truck underneath you, you know is gonna get you out to the bush do the job and get you home safely and get the day done. I'm one that's probably down about 50%. Uh, much rather get fixed and get the tire on and then I can get my tire back on later. Right. Sam feels for 
Ben loaded the Which one was it, man? Get it inside, is there? This one? Yeah. Down about the top way down. Yeah, I got a decent parse thing up the top of that one of this. Twelve to fourteen hours in a truck, you want to be comfortable. You don't want to have the crap kicked out of you by the road with a really stiff, hard-running truck. But at the same time, your truck needs to be strong enough to withstand all this. You want something with enough power to get you up and down the hills with the, with the loads required. And uh, the challenges of going up that, uh, going up empty, really isn't that. You just take it slow and let the truck do its work. Uh, lock everything up, and it. It does the job for you. challenging part you're bringing generally with 38 to 40,000 kilograms of payload with a truck weight of uh, 18,500 kilograms you know you're upwards of 58,000 59,000 kilograms coming down the same hills that's that's kind of where the challenge is is, is bringing that safely down number one not to destroy the road and, and drag your tires make it difficult for the next driver and two not to overheat your brakes so you can make it to the bottom. But because it's such a long, constant hill, uh, it was so muddy and as you can tell, it was so loose, I can't run my J-card because what happens is you'll get lock up. You'll get compression lock, and it'll lock your dry wheels up and you can't get it. So you gotta have that nice mix of a little bit of engine brake, a little bit of engine compression, and the right gear to come down and you gotta use your brakes. So when you get down, they are a little warm. It's, it's getting it down successfully and safely that's the, that's probably the most fun part of the job and at the same time it's, it, it can be the most stressful there's not much I don't enjoy about the, about the job I like the challenge I like the feeling you get after a successful day's work when you get a couple loads down uh, out of a nasty setting it's, uh, the, the whole job's good overall
All right, let's go home. Oh, dispatch 46 is empty at the beach.